Hello, people. I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at the official trailer to Gangubai Kathiawati, starring Ali Abad and Ajay Devgan. It's directed by Sanjay Leela Bansali. This film comes out February 25th, 2022. Highly anticipated. Glad to finally have a trailer. You guys, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. She's a sassy lady. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> wow. Side up logo ko meri baat thodi si kadvi lage lekin dhyan se sunna. Aap se zyada izzat hai hamare paas. Pucho kaise? आपकी इज्जत एक बार गई तो गई हम तो रोज रात को इज्जत बेचती है साली खत्म ही नहीं होती मिर्जो तुझे क्या लगता है गंगूबाई गू खाती है मुझे तेवर दिखा रही है तुझे तो दिन में तारे दिखाऊंगी मैं कमाठी पूरा रजिया भाई का था कमाठी पूरा रजिया पाई का रहेगा रजिया का आप सुन सुन की उल्टी आ जाती है ए, तेरी औकात में लाला को घर बसते हुए देखना पसंद है उजड़ते हुए नहीं ओके okay. लिया गंगू ने हमारे बच्चों को इनको शिक्षा का हक दिलाकर ही रहूंगी और समाज में इंसान की तरह जीने का हक में लेकर ही रहूंगी लिखो माँ का नाम गंगू बाई और बाप बाप का नाम क्या लिखे माँ का नाम काफी नहीं है ना चलो बाप का नाम देवानंद खोलो और थोड़ा खोलो और थोड़ा अब पूरा का पूरा चाइना मुंह में घुसाएगा क्या अरे जब शक्ति संपत्ति सदबुद्धि ये तीनों ही औरतें हैं तो इन मर्दों को किस बात का गुरु तेजी भाई लिख देना कल की अखबार में कि आजाद मैदान में भाषण देते वक्त गंगू बाई ने आंखें झुका कर नहीं आंखें मिलाकर अपने हक की बात की है भाई Wow. I really like Ali Abad and I like the style of this. I mean, it seems very, very cool. I don't exactly know what her challenge is in the story other than she's making a name for herself and I don't know what a gung bai is. She's a prostitute. Is. So I... I thought that, but I wasn't absolutely sure. So I mean... So I gather that she was sold into prostitution at a young age. Okay. And so, you know, she learned to survive in the underbelly of society as it were and she's climbing her way up and along the way she's getting into politics and she's super smart and Is based getting, on a true story I think so okay. and, and getting the getting a lot of support from women it seems and and people who maybe who feel oppressed and whose voices don't feel heard in society and so she speaks for all of that I still stand by what I said though I don't see what her challenge is because it seems like everybody in this town is on her side Did you not see the beginning of the trailer where everything everybody was like down with Gung Gungubai like yeah she's going to have support within her like a part of society I guess but I would say like 90% of the trailer was like we're on your side Sure yeah <laughs> you know? so you so you're seeing you're definitely seeing more of the success and and more of you know where she's going and stuff but i'm sure that what we're not seeing in the trailer is 
the struggle that she has to go that's through. That's what I wanted is, to see in this. Yeah, yeah. Like, like people looking down on her because of what she does or right. what she has done in her life in order to survive. It's like, yeah, so she did that. They, I don't know why I was reticent to call out that she was a hooker. Like, it just, because I was watching it, I'm like, I'm pretty sure she's a hooker. But I, like, for some odd reason, I wasn't clear about that because she was running for this political position. I'm like, wait, is that possible? Because, of like, it that, is. not in the States. And so, like, my brain didn't put it together because you would never see that here. You will see a, a celebrity's sex tape get out and then they blow up further, like Kim Kardashian, right? Sure. Uh, you'll see something like that. Pamela Anderson, same thing. That kind of thing will happen. But you wouldn't ever see a a, a porn well, a, star be running for a president. lady of the night becoming president. Never, right? Never. It would never yeah, happen. Maybe not. But and, and so, like that, that just sort of threw me. I'm like, wait, she's a politician. So that's why I had a hard time with it. And then you said, I'm like, okay. So my my suspicion was correct. The impression I was getting, because like she was basically having speeches through the whole trailer, right? All these zingers and one liners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved them. And and people kept like cheering her on. I'm like, what's the struggle in this story if everyone's just cheering her on? And I. I, I felt like that was largely lacking in the trailer. Sure. I mean, I am very curious to see a movie about a woman who goes from being a prostitute to a politician and trying to change society for the better. That's yeah. a fascinating idea. I just didn't see much of the struggle. Like any time she had any remote struggle, it was almost like an action movie. She just kicked them to the side. I was like, right. okay. The thing that really fascinated me about this was just that she's playing someone spanning from a young age all the way up to being older. I don't know how much older she is supposed to be in this uh, movie, mm -hmm. but I liked that bit they showed where it was probably her first day on the streets, as it were, and they taught her like how you're supposed to stand and put your hand out. And, and like you can see, you know, she's about to cry and she looks really young there. And then later on when she's giving that speech in the white, I think they were trying to make her look older, but I don't know how much older she's supposed to be. It's interesting to me to see her take on this type of role because it is a really challenging role. And so far, I think, you know, I'm buying it. I like what she's doing with her voice. I don't know if I really heard her voice kind of have that kind of tone gruff before. yeah like it's mm. more gruff than i kind of associate with her for me I, I i just like the look of it that's the thing that's captivating me more than any just this kind of world building that they're doing yeah that's what's got me more than anything but as far as the story goes that has yet to really show itself to me and it's like i'm already putting my chips in because of the look of it well yeah it's you sanjay lila bansali like he always does really beautiful looking right. movies you know at least at least you'll have the the visual spectacle right like when we watched padmavat it was gorgeous yeah story that wasn't probably his strongest one so right. <laughs> let's I, hope this is better right it's just that i'm hoping that in going in i'm not seeing two and a half hours of her going you know, just like, I can't, I can't for two and a half hours. I'm going to get bored. Yeah. Like, I need to see her challenged. Because, you know, uh, pressure makes diamonds. I, I need to see that story. Sure, uh, of, yeah. Of how she becomes such a strong person. I'm hoping that we get that. And it's not just like one-liners and zingers. I like her character, you know? I think the character is is really fun. I like that idea of a woman who's not afraid to, like, grab life by the balls and just be really gutsy and... I mean, yeah, she... I suppose or she by has the to lips, be. as it were. Oh. Or by the tits. Ugh. She's got to be really gutsy because she deals with, you know, a particular type of people all the time. And so she just really gives zero F-bombs about stuff. No, I gather that. I, I, I like that. I like a gutsy woman but i think you're right you know we can't just have her being all like i now look to be fair i don't like that when it's a guy either you know like i need my main character to be challenged yeah we need know? conflict we, we need conflict conf exactly for it to be interesting and, and i've raised that complaint about movies plenty of times when it's just starring a dude where i'm like why should i be afraid for my main character in this film if every time he's just destroying people without challenge right after a while that just becomes old hat if during the, the course of this entire film she's just like basically setting people to the side like they're nothing i'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> like, what's the challenge of the story? I think they did show little bits of it. Like, she had to rise to the top to kind of become in charge of the red light district because there was that person who was all like, this place belongs to this guy. And she's like, yeah, whatever. Like, his name makes me puke. But she didn't seem threatened. I think that's what it is. Is like, she doesn't seem threatened by anyone in the story so far. Sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that that's probably how they've cut the trailer. I doubt 
that there's gonna be like zero conflict in this movie. That's how you get a story, right? Is that there's conflict. Yeah, so, there has to be. There right. has to be, right? Then you have a love story on top of that with a Jay Devigan, right? I mean, he's into her. Is that, yeah. That's what I'm gathering. Yeah, that's it's what. Kind of like the he, memoirs of a geisha thing. Yeah, a part of me goes, oh. Was well, she supposed to be older as well? Super young, but yeah, that's just because I'm thinking of Ali Abad, the actress, and I'm not. I'm yeah, I don't know how old she's supposed to be, and also it's back in the olden days. It's way back. Why does it have to be the olden days? That happens decades now. Decades ago. That happens now. I mean, yeah. That happens now. I know. With much older people dating younger people, men, yeah. men and women on both sides of the spectrum. Yeah. Like so, it's fine. I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't bother me. She just looks really young. She does look young. Yeah. But. I mean, whatever. I mean, a Jay Devgan's a super dashing, good looking guy, so, you know. No one cared when Monica dated Richard, so. That's true. You know. He was also a very charismatic, dashing man. So there you go. And he had a great mustache. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Do let us know your feelings in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon, all notifications, and vote the sub to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is... Achara Kirk. Peace out.